The US State Department's praised America's track record of dealing with racial tension. I would put our record here in the US of openly, transparently uh, addressing challenges when you have wall-to-wall -wall news coverage of this, when you have commentators and people debating and talking. Uh, that is a record of transparency. Well, while the State Department is praising the way the unrest has been dealt with, some in the U.S. media seem selective when looking at Baltimore. Covering that is Ghani Chichikan today. What's in a name? The mainstream media in the U.S. are busy trying to give a name to the rioters in Baltimore. They quickly picked up on the word the president has used. A handful of protesters, uh, a handful of uh, criminals uh, and thugs who, uh, who tore up the place quote unquote criminals and thugs. He also carefully chose to use that word. Isn't it the right word? I'd be interested to hear from those police about their level of frustration that they have to stand here and watch these thugs go thugging. The issues behind the right drown in that word, thugs. That's how America will remember the protests in Baltimore, thanks to the media. There was wall to wall coverage of the riots. But where was that kind of coverage when the protests were peaceful a few days earlier? Instead, we saw some journalists here covering the riots as if they happened out of the blue, as something that they've never seen before, despite the decades-long history of black communities revolting against racial profiling and unequal treatment. Hard to believe this is going on in a major American city right now. This is a scene that uh, a lot of us never anticipated seeing in a city like Baltimore. Hard to believe this is going on, as I keep saying. This doesn't look or feel like the United States of America. This looks like some riot in some third world nation. That kind of coverage prompts many to believe that the media live in a different reality. The facts then dictate that racial persecution really isn't the problem in Baltimore. You haven't had the experience black people have had in the black community. Listen. You don't. Do you concede that we have a serious police brutality problem in the black community? If you don't, What's the point in talking further? Because your reality and my reality hey, are totally listen, different. I, I guess the our reality... Thing... There's no excuse for that kind of violence, right? Ian, there's no excuse for the seven people that the Baltimore City Police Department has killed in the past year either, right? We're not making comparisons. Obviously, we don't want anybody hurt. And you are making a comparison. You are suggesting this idea that broken windows um, are, are worse than broken spots. A lot of words have been said over these past few days to condemn, to issue labels, all of which seems to have overshadowed the discussion about the root causes of what happened. Poverty, rampant inequality, and racial profiling by the authorities. In Washington, I'm Ganesh Chekyan, RT.